Hello friends, so welcome to Data Pandit. So we are going to talk about one interview scenario question. And uh, the scenario is such a way that we need to apply our um, whatever we have learned, right? And then try to solve it, right? So the scenario is like we have an input kind, kind of this. One is like indicated as a country, second indicated as a city. Then again, it can repeat, you know, first as in another country, then city of that country, and then the UK, you know, the country and the city of that country. They can repeat as well, right? It could be like, uh, you know, Manchester or maybe uh, I could say, London. Okay. So there that also should be like output should be like, uh, you know, uh, only the code is two. And then the first is country and then the city followed by city. This is the expectation of the output. So uh, while looking at this scenario, it sounds like we need to process these records, like some kind of group processing we need to do basically. So this uh, seems like this needs to be processed at one time. This is another, right? And this is another again. So, but in group-based processing, the limitation is to key. So there should be, we should have to have the key, you know. We need to have the key. Without key, we cannot do anything. Right. So we have a function called key change function, right? So the key change happens whenever, whenever this number becomes, you know, same number repeats, then only we need to change the key. Otherwise there is no key change. The key change function says that if incoming code becomes my this code becomes this code then only i would be changing or in turn so this will always change i guess i would say i would say if the input code is IN1 input code is greater than, then only key change happens, you know. So we are going to utilize the key change function basically so that we can process these two records together, these two records together and these three records together. So I would do is like I will be declaring a temporary type count and countries. Then I am going to initialize count as zero and country as the first country, right? all which and then the key change function if in1 code is equals to equals to in2 code then there is a no key change happens <coughs> so there is an no, that is not going to happen ever right so i think the code should be like uh, if my key change happens only when the, you know, code equals to equals to one. Let's say in dot code equals to equals to one. Yeah, in one dot code, yeah, in two dot code, in one dot code, let's say, equals to equals to one. Otherwise, it is going to be processed. Then all countries, if count is zero, then string concatenate countries, temp countries, countries, right and count is a count plus one so these kind of processing we need to think of actually this is not tested and tried actually but this is my thought process that using the key change function we can uh, we can solve this kind of problem so maybe we need to try to see whenever when the key change happens so we need to uh, think of the condition basically 
right so the proper condition we need to think of so instead of doing the hard coding i would try to make it a general basically right so when to change the key so this is the fundamental basically so then it is solved right i mean once we once we uh, decide that when to change the key we just need to concatenate these values actually country values so okay thank you so much uh, please subscribe my channel and we are going to see multiple more uh, this kind of interview questions okay in times come thank you so much